Hello everyone, welcome back to Fightage channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 20,000 subscribers for my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. Heavyweight Slugger from the United States, Jarl Miller, and he's a world B rival, former United Division 1 champion Anthony Joshua, will perform on December 23 in Radia, Saudi Arabia. Miller is boxing with the former WBA world belt holder Daniel Dubois of Britain, and Joshua has a fight with a technical Southpaw from Sweden not to Berlin. Miller believed that Joshua made the fatal mistake by choosing Berlin as his opponent from an interview with a seconds out. Honestly, I feel it. There is something inside uh, that says he made a mistake by choosing Quellin. Even uh, thought Otto Wallin is an unstressed person. He is a very spiritual and persistent, and he will definitely fight. I'm sure it will be a difficult fight for AJ. It's unlikely to be easy for him. And uh, here, the very question arises. What is there with Joshua's psychological fortitude? Will it hold up? Miller is sure that Joshua is too used to home fight. He even works differently when he is not boxing in Britain. And when he is boxing away, it's like some other guy, even in Saudi Arabia, so he won't have an advantage over Wallin. Of course, I want to wish Otto good luck. Actually, I would like to personally knock out AJ. But in such cases, I always say the same thing. Like the strongest win, that's all. After the British ex-world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua won his uh, second victory in 2023 in August, prematurely defeating Finn Robert Hellenius, uncertainty reigning for a long time with uh, the next performance of AJ. At first it was about December, then the borders expanded to January and even February 2024, but in the end Joshua will still fulfill his desire and uh, hold three fights in 2023. On December 23, he is scheduled to fight against Sweden Otto Wallin. The latter believes that Anthony's preparation will not be complete, since everything was final, I think, relatively recently. And he is going to take full advantage of this, as well as his right hand stand. I think it's a short notice for AJ, Otto Wallin says. He is already working with a new coach, and I don't think he is going through the best moment of his career right now. He is going to have a fight on pretty short notice, and uh, even against the lefty, it was not the best decision for Joshua to agree to the fight. And I'll show him why. Of course, I am confident of defeating Joshua, otherwise I would not have accepted this fight, Walden said. I've been waiting for this for a very long time, and I won't let it end with anything other than my victory. I had a good fight with Fury, but I lost, and I do not intend to repeat this experience. I'm more than ready to fight, and I want to get the respect I deserve. And Joshua, I think, is on the way to completing his career. He was a good fighter, and I earned the respect for him, but his time is coming to an end, whereas mine is just beginning, Wallen said. According to heavyweight contender Deontay Wilder, last month he witnessed how divisional rival Anthony Joshua was very nervous when they met at a press conference in Saudi Arabia. On December 23, in Radia, Joshua will fight with the main contender Otto Allen, while Deontay Wilder will face another former champion, Joseph Parker. If Wilder and Joshua win their fight, there is a possibility there is a possibility that they will later fight together in 2024. During a recent press conference, Wilder was mostly silent, while other fighters had a verbal alteration with Joshua. I think I shocked a lot of people when I came to the press conference cold, calm and collected, but I've been like this all day. There is a time and a place for everything, and it wasn't the time or the place to say, I've been waiting for you, AJ. I didn't have to say anything. At that press conference, I noticed that Joshua was very nervous when it came to the fight with me. He has a nervous tick even when he hears any mention of me. They don't know how I behave in different situations, so when I came looking like this, it uh, really shocked him. I shocked a lot of people there. I wish AJ all the best. But there has been tension between me and him for a long time. We were planning a fight. There was a lot of hype around all this. This is the number one fight in the world. Well, they recall that Joshua refused to fight with him. However, according to Deontay, the fight will happen anyway. Wherever I go, they ask me about this fight as the number one fight. I'm sure it finally happens soon. Recently, their side admitted that they were guilty of a breakdown. They didn't take 50 million. 
treated me badly because of this, fixed fear, failed and all that sort of thing. But over time, the truth came out on its own. He has to get Wallen out of the way, and I have to get Parker out of the way. And uh, may God be with us in this fight. And when we come out unsketched, the main battle will begin, Wilder said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.